Previously on Blue Healers. I'll ask you one more time. What did he take? Speed? Ecstasy? Didn't he tell you, Constable? I'm his brother. How old are you today? 30? I suppose you've still got time to learn. What is going on there? 30 years of competition. Oh, I believe you blew the shed. I just don't believe the reason. You didn't do it because you wanted to stop. You were just protecting yourself and your daughter. No way, you Harry, No way! Harry! The only way to help Tracy is by telling the truth. Did you give Todd that pill last night? I think Constable Jones believed in you, Tracy, but he's changing his mind now. Probably thinks you let him down. She's a good girl. So she mixed in a bit of metho and a bit of strychnine just for her mates. Real good girl. Be afraid, detective. You know that Tracy kid couldn't have made those eckies? Country bumpkins are her old man. We'll never clue. And that's what I've been trying to tell him. A few times I thought maybe he's not fair dinkum. You're talking about my brother. Oh, yeah. I'm here to ask you about the ecstasy tablets you or your brother put in Tracy Burnett's room. What's the girl been saying this time? I know what you've been up to. And I know what you've done to Tracy. And you can do whatever you like to cover your tracks. It won't work. You didn't get clearance from the boss for what we just did, did you? Not exactly. You couldn't resist, could you? She's a dealer and a manufacturer. Oh, shit. What the hell is going on? Kurt, what are you doing here? What are you two doing more to the point? You went over my head to Falcon Price. You lied to him and you lied to me. Happy birthday. Come on, <laughs> yes. I need to talk to you. What are you doing? Come on, chill out. It's your party. Relax, mate. Everything's fine. It's all going to be fine. We're all friends here. Everything's fine. Dylan. Dylan, get up. Chrissy! Chrissy, ambulance! Dylan! 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 Does he have any allergies? No. Diabetic, epileptic? No to both. What is he eating or drunk? Finger food, cocktails, bottled water. Has he taken any drugs? My son is a detective sergeant. But has he taken any drugs? Don't be stupid. Sugar. Thanks, Bernard. Yeah. Oh, I better not. Your son's been stabilized. You can uh, see him now. Is he conscious? But uh, I have some results from the blood pathology department. He has amphetamines in his system. Well, it must be from another patient. There's been a mistake. No other tests were being run. <laughs> well, he may be on cold tablets. Pseudoephedrine would not produce these results. My son had never taken drugs. He's in the drug squad. He's seen it firsthand the damage they cause. Son, someone gave you something. You know who? No. You didn't take it yourself. I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't do that. That's all I need. I never would. I never would. Get away. Get away. It happened to me for you. Back off. Oh, Blue! Outside now. Outside. Come on. Thank you. Grab some adrenaline. 60 jewels. Stand clear. He said if it hadn't been for you, your birthday party, and there were drugs there. Not to my knowledge. All I know is that Dylan is dead because somebody slipped him amphetamines at your party. No. And that's my brother in there. 
My son. You never got along, you always resented him. What's that supposed to mean? Drinking those stupid cocktails at your party like there was no tomorrow. I said, what the hell's that supposed to mean? Did you spike one of his drinks? How do you get drugs in your system? Isn't he supposed to be the straight arrow? Well, <clears throat> the commander's blaming Jonesy. He's saying he spiked Dylan's drink. Well, that's obviously crap. No, I don't credit it for a second. Well, these bosses are going to have to be informed. So is ESD. Mm. Drug squad sergeant ID. That is not a good look. You think Dylan might have been using ecstasy himself? You were with him most of the night. Yeah, but not because we were doing party drugs. So what was he drinking? Mostly bottled water. <laughs> That'll be right. Yeah, look, I know people on ecstasy drink a lot of water. Sometimes too much. But just before he collapsed, he picked up one of Dougie's cocktails and sculled the whole thing. And then? Then Jonesy came over, whispered something into his ear. He went back to Eloise Maxwell. Dylan seemed upset. He went to follow him and just dropped. So it's possible his drink was spiked. Hey, Dougie. Now, mate, these cocktails of yours. Yeah. Pure poison, eh? Oh, I'm not saying that. You did mix them. Guilty. Uncle Doug's Hoofiak Tunnel. So what was in them? <laughs> Not drugs. Then what? Well, the recipe's a secret. But let's say a wide variety of alcoholic beverages was used, of which the main staple is Polish vodka. Right, well, we think the one that Dylan Jones had was spiked. Not by me. <laughs> Come on, get real. Have you ever seen Dylan take drugs? We didn't socialise. I'm more your beer and meat pie kind of bloke. He was more your... Vintage red and hawk cuisine. Then you resented that? Oh, why would I? Just detected a slight edge. Oh, come on, I couldn't be bothered. He wasn't going to be around much longer anyway. You know, being a Jones, he was going to be sent off to knife and fork school. Who? <laughs> you would have made inspector then. Poof, disappeared. Thanks. But you know, there were two people with drug connections present. Why aren't you looking at them for it? The Maxwells. There you go. No prize. You won't find them on a leap. But the names have cropped up in information reports in connection with drugs manufacture. Right, and, Dougie, when were you going to share this information with us? Well, I told young Jonesy. He was on his way over to have a word when Dylan hit the deck. You better have a very good reason for waking us at this hour. Is Detective Sergeant Jones being dead of a drug overdose good enough for you? But I rang the hospital. They said he was stable. We want to know what he took and where he got it from. I can't believe this. Dylan... Answer the question, Miss Maxwell. How would we know about it? You don't seem very surprised to hear that he OD'd. I never saw him do drugs. We dated a few times back in Melbourne, that's all. This... What killed him... What was it? You tell us. You're still trying to associate us with drugs. You just don't get it. OK, that's it. We're finished here. You wake us in the middle of the night, tell us in a totally brutal way our friend's dead, hint that we might be involved and imply we're drug traffickers. I want you to leave now. You heard my sister, leave. I think Miss Maxwell's saying she can't help us with our inquiries. Is that what she's saying? Okay. You see us soon. Thought I'd get to see my own son. You're supposed to go first, parent. And this, not even line of duty. Well, we don't know that yet. We do have a couple of suspects. One of them might have spiked his drink. I'd like to think that. But he took it himself, didn't he? No. 
You were always a strong one, stood up to me, defied me. I've been giving him a hard time. Maybe I should have. Buck stops with me. God help me, I think I was a bad father. I asked more of him than he could give. Ask the hospital people. Give me another half hour with him. I'll do that. Safe passage. What makes you so sure that Dylan wasn't taking drugs at that party? Can I say for certain? But you told your father that he wasn't. It's what he wanted to hear. All right, I understand how much you must be hurting right now, but I want a straight answer to a straight question. Did you spike Dylan's drink? No. Then somebody else must have done it. Well, Dylan was taking drugs himself. Either way, there is no reason for you to be overprotective towards your father. Now listen, forensics have run tests on that stuff from Harry Burnett's shed. There is nothing to suggest that they were manufacturing eckies. So Tracy and Harry are in the clear, and they're still in remand. Yes, but we did find those pills with the Acer heart stamped on them in her bedroom. Tracy claims she was making essential oils. She pinched the recipe from the Maxwells, giving Eloise plenty of motive to have planted those eckies on her. That's hardly enough evidence to obtain a warrant. I just found out that Eloise and Julian are on intelligence reports linking them to manufacture and supply in Melbourne. Then I'll go and wake the magistrate. Get in. Are you allowed to persecute small business people like this? Well, equipped with a warrant we can, sir, yes. I'm calling our lawyer. Don't! It'll only encourage them. Well, we're done. Sorry for the inconvenience. No, you're not. Why don't you want a police force to take drug abuse seriously? Ha uh ha. -huh. The old bank. They call it the old bank because it used to be a bank. So where's the vault? There isn't one. An old bank without a vault? I guess the branch was too small to justify it. Right, do you want a hand? Careful with that. One vault. I've never seen that before. But it just materialised. It's always been covered by the bookcase. You certainly wouldn't know how to open it. I wouldn't worry about that. Precisely. No, we can uh, get a diamond drill or a bit of jelly. We will open it. Julian, what are you doing? It's over. Okay. I don't know what he's talking about. Where did all that stuff come from, Julian? She said what? Well, basically, mate, you dumped you in it. Now, at this point, I just don't see how we can help you. Now, hang on. Well, since we've got a police member dead from ingesting one of your pills... I said hang on. Well, unless we can find your sister's fingerprints in the bank vault, I'd say you're pretty much history. That bitch. Yeah, well, you can sort it out with her in 10 or 15 years' time, Julian, when you get out of jail. If she's still around. It was her idea. Well, she said that she knows nothing about chemistry. She's the organiser, right? She was on the party scene. She's the one who identified the markets. 
She's the one who gets the supplies and organises distribution. The one who got that old pill press at a sale. This would be the pill press we found in the bank vault, the one that makes a nice little ace of hearts on the pill. That's the one she bought it. I just... make the stuff. Julian, do you want to tell us about her contacts inside the drug squad? We all know she dated Detective Sergeant Dylan Jones. She probably thought he'd come in handy one day. The way I did. We think one of you spiked his drink. I don't know anything about that. Can I at least get bail? Oh, you can apply for it. Fine. And when I get it, there are people here who will be sorry. This is a recording of your interview. Keep it with you and... Do they make admissions? He did, she didn't. The physical evidence should nail them. So the Eki Dillon got. They were at the bar. They had the opportunity. Tell your father that. Tell him, Jonesy. He actually has a right to know. Just say I'm trying to get out of it. Well, I'll tell him then. No. You say I'm hiding behind a woman's skirt. Well, looks like you're shafted both ways then, doesn't it? I'm sorry. Is Dad here? Yeah, he's in the bar. Yes. We think we've traced the source of the drug that was given to Dylan. Have you? We discovered a very well-equipped clan lab. Too late to save him. It was operated by a brother and... sister named Maxwell, Eloise and Julian. They had contact with Dylan back in Melbourne. I met them at the... Uh, at the party. What, what are you implying? That they knew him socially? He didn't suspect them. And you think it was one of them spiked his drink? Okay. That's it. Okay. You want more? Well, sorry would be nice. Mm. <clears throat> no, I don't think I could rise to sorry. I think you'll have to be satisfied with... With OK. He's a hard man, like Stone. Just no giving him at all. One day he'll just shatter. Nice try, Evan, but it's not going to work. I got bail. You killed Sorry, my brother. Just let me leave it. Two zero eight receiving. Constable Jones returned to the station for inspection break. Trouble? Routine. The ESD's got to be involved. But that was a formal interview. She's just establishing a timeline for Dylan's death. There's nothing to worry about. Mr. Corby. Oh, very nice to see you've acquired another client. No cheap sarcasm, please, Sergeant. Ms. Maxwell's retained my services, and she tells me she has some information germane to an inquiry. And what inquiry would that be, Mr. Corby? Could we speak to someone in authority, please? The organ grinder and not the monkey. Is that the point that you would be making? Well, I'd never put it in those terms. I'll see if the organ grinder is available. I tried to contact your office earlier. They told me you were here in Mount Thomas. So it seemed opportune. Would it help if you said what this is about? Oh, my client, Ms Maxwell. Who's already been released on bail after she and her brother were charged with trafficking drugs of dependence. Oh, with respect, Tom, that is irrelevant to the information my client wished to share. Really? 
but the information's major and concerns the conduct of a member of this station. I'd like an assurance of some leniency for my client. If that's a precondition. Thank you for your time. The interview's over. Any leniency shown will depend entirely upon the quality of the information your client's prepared to divulge. Understood. Inspector, if that was a complaint about the exchange between Eloise Maxwell and Constable Jones... Enlighten me, Constable. Miss Maxwell was deliberately provocative. Constable Jones was in a highly emotional state over the death of his brother. Susie. But nothing happened that could be construed as harassment. I love the way your people stick together. Well, thank you, Constable, but nothing you just said was remotely relevant. Constable Jones, interview room, now. Eloise Maxwell has now made certain admissions re-drug manufacturing. So, the charges against Tracy Burnett will be dropped? The manufacturing charges, not the ones for possession. But she maintains that those pills were planted in her room. That, Jones, is what they all say. Maxwell, while admitting to a far more serious charge, has denied planting the pills in Tracy Burnett's bedroom. So who did? Well, she believes that Tracy's boyfriend, Todd Ross, may have put them there, with or without her knowledge. But Tracy and her father will be released from remand? Yes, they will. Good. So, we finished? No. Eloise Maxwell has alleged that she's been paying you. She says that you became aware of her and her brother's activities and offered protection in return for certain sums of money. Well, that inspector is what they all say. Do you find this amusing, Constable? No. I find it sickening. She further alleges that you told her you were worried that your brother Detective Sergeant Dylan Jones was, quote, getting too close. I told her. I wouldn't give that bitch the time of day. I don't like the word bitch, Constable. In view of these allegations, I must ask you whether you attempted to compromise your brother's credibility. And how would I do that? By placing a party drug in his drink. I think under the circumstances you should take the rest of the day off while well, you can investigate the allegations against me. I think your father could use some support, don't you? Yeah. She's saying you're on the take. If I was, I'd be driving a better car. Than this does not make sense. The one closest to her was your brother. If anyone was on the take, it was him. Don't ever say that. You're not going to defend yourself. My father has a son to bury. And I don't want him hurting more than he already is, OK? Let me make inquiries. No! You just leave it. You got a licence for that, Todd? Thanks heaps for breaking me and Tracy up. Any time, mate. Just out of the wallet, thanks. She doesn't believe me anymore. She thinks I was in it with that Eloise woman. So how did you and Eloise hook up? Well, I was in a steam packet one night. She came up to me and said she heard you could get Eckies from me. She was buying. Well, that was just to get me talking. Then she said she could supply me. And you said? It's not like everyone doesn't take them. They ought to be legal. And you <laughs> said? Give me a sample to try. It was good gear. We did a deal. But she was new in town, so why would you trust her? She kind of made hints that she had protection. That she was paying off police? She never said that. Look, we were never that close, OK? It was just business. She used Todd like she used her brother. Yeah, now she's got herself a lawyer and she's uh, making deals. Julian wasn't part of that. I mean, she's hung him out to dry and he's going to wear it. You think of what I'm thinking? 
Pay for it. For what? You want to run it? I know my conditions of bail. I'm doing the banking. It's on the advice of Mr. Corby, is it? Corby? Yeah, the lawyer your sister hired to represent you both. Eloise stumped you right in it, mate. You both do the crime, but you're going to do the time. That's ridiculous. She shopped you, mate. Now she's got a lawyer and she's making deals. Julian, this is your last chance. Now your sister says you've been buying protection from a police member. The question is who? I can't tell you. I made the product. She handled the business Here's side. It's your last chance, Julian. I don't know. Yeah, well, you want to wear the lot, do you? I seriously don't know. This better be banking and it better be in Mount Thomas because if you breach your bail conditions, I swear to God, I'll have you in sight so fast. Your head will spin. Hey, we just got the forensic toxicology report back on Dylan's blood. And? He had the genuine article in his system. Real ecstasy, pure MDMA. Doesn't make sense. Look at yourself. Pure methylene dioxymethamphetamine. He overheated, drank too much water, his brain swelled, heart attack, death. It's a classic ecstasy OD. It's totally different from the garbage Todd was peddling from the Maxwell's. Which was full of crap. So Dylan's stuff came from somewhere else? So you still think I slipped you a Mickey? Well, you didn't like him very much. Well, clearing your mate's one thing, fitting me up for it. Well, that's quite another. We're not suggesting you tried to kill him. That's very kind of you. But you resented him. I mean, the fact that he got promoted because of his family connections. I don't have to listen to this. The drug squad's property office has got to be a wash with him. Goodbye. I'm off to Melbourne. Detective Senior Constable, this is your lucky day. If you'd gone back to Melbourne without being interviewed, I'd have been very displeased. Now go back into the hotel and wait until I'm ready for you. And since you're here, you can stay with him and make sure he doesn't disappear. I organise for your brother's body to be returned to Melbourne. So you're intending to drive back then? I can take some time off and drive you if you like. Why? It's not a good time to be alone, don't you think? I'll be fine. I bought this for his birthday. And, uh, arrangements? I'll be wanting a police funeral. So you'll tell me when it is. I'm going to be there, Dad. There's a plot alongside your mother. It was meant for me, but it'll be his now. Commander? Just putting my son's effects together. So I see, sir. You can leave now, Constable. I'd soon to be with my father. Very dutiful, I'm sure. But please leave. What's this Inspector Draper like? Well, she won't fit you up if that's what you're worried about. Oh, nice to know. Some people around here wouldn't do that. No, we're trying to rule you out. Yeah, well, thanks for your vote of confidence. I want to work with you. That drug that killed Dylan. It's not the same as the one that's been circulating. Yeah, well, there's always funny stuff around. Is there any chance he could have got hold of other stuff that he's confiscated? Or stuff that he could be paying off informants with. Yeah, well, I'd be the last one to know about that. He always played his cards pretty close to his chest. I hear Eloise Maxwell's been making allegations about you. you mean, you've met her? she say anything? Yeah. Well, if she said your brother was copying a sling off her, then that might be another thing. No way. You believe what you want to believe, son. I hope you're not going to be talking that way with Monica Draper. As a favour, I won't mention to her that you're trying to interfere with a witness, either. You're jealous. Oh, come on, give me a break. Your career's stalled, and he had so much going for him. Yeah, like his family. Don't. Don't. Just, just. Hey, no dramas. Just telling young Jones you hear a few home truths about his saintly brother. you got to ask yourself, why wouldn't he go after the Maxwells? Unless he was copping something in the hand from them. And there's nothing you found? No. Now, Eloise Maxwell's allegations against Constable Jones that he was receiving money from her in return for protection... The allegations of a drug manufacturer and dealer? Yes. But what did you think of them? When Dylan was dying, he... Uh... <clears throat> 
Last thing he said, he turned to Evan and said, get away from me if it hadn't been for you. What did you understand from that? At the time, I thought he was talking about the party and the sort of people who might have been there. You know, in the context of a spike drink. But in the light of Maxwell's subsequent allegations? I don't know what to think. There is one other place we should search. Oi! What do you think you're doing? Checking. Thank you, Constable. This is the car that Dylan and Doug drove up in, and that's what I found underneath the wheel arch. Found? Or did we just interrupt you planting it? Sounds to me like a very reasonable question. Those pills he found, they were Dylan's, weren't they? We don't know that. There were two people using that car. What, you're saying they were Doug's? Doug was one making the cocktails. Maybe he spiked his drink. You know they were Dylan's. It was a drug squad car. Anyone could have put that stuff there at any time. You went looking. By yourself. You were going to cover up for him. Maybe it was. I don't know. Sorry, Dad, I'm not allowed to be here. I'm suspended. After what I saw in that car park, you deserve to be. Stupid thing to do. Yeah, well, maybe that's what I am. Stupid. And I'm stupid for ever believing you. Permission to speak, sir. If you have something to contribute. I believe I do. I'd like to sit in on this, if you don't mind, sir. I don't need two members suspended on the same day. I believe Constable Jones found those pills in the wheel arch of the drug squad car. And then he realised they were his brothers. So now he's psychic. He is falling on his sword to protect Dylan's reputation. Is he really? Sir, I know that Evan has always felt like the outsider of your family, but he can't... You know nothing about our family. Evan has told you that he's not my natural son. No. And you haven't heard the whole story. Well, that would at least help to explain. He always felt that Dylan was your favourite, and now he's just trying to protect your feelings about My that. feelings are my feelings, Constable. And you have no right to know them. I have the deepest of feelings for Evan. God help me. Deeper than those I had for Dylan. You love him more than Dylan. Your words. If you want to put it that way, yes. If you feel that way, Reg, why won't you believe it? This action of feeding his brother a drug, it's... It's not the first time. Evan's done this to Dylan before. I can't believe he's dragging that up. You mean you did? Yeah. I was 17 and... I had a couple of hash cookies that a mate's mum had baked for him. She was a hippie. So you gave Dylan one. How old was he? 
15. I never gave it to him. He nicked it. He knew what it was. Oh, yeah. He knew exactly what it was. He'd been bugging me for a taste and I wouldn't give it to him, so... Just took it from my bedroom. <laughs> then his legs wouldn't work and... He sat at the dinner table quacking like a duck. <laughs> when they got Dylan back from the hospital... Dad took me out to the backyard. I got a few good ones in. Now you got a few good ones in. I think we call it a draw. And I went inside, packed my stuff and left. Never went back. Your father believes you fed it to him. I know. It's what I let him believe. You've been covering for Dylan your whole life. He's my little brother. Was. What'd you get? He's gonna sacrifice himself. And Thomas, Police Sergeant Stewart speaking. The pills in the metal box Jonesy found, pure MDMA, same as the stuff that killed Dylan. Figures, but who do they belong to? Well, they're sending the box off to fingerprints, maybe... That was the hospital. There's been another ID, person of interest. The reason I reported it is that the OD was deliberate. Well, how do you know that? Well, it didn't just take one pill. It's as if he scooped up a handful, tried to swallow them, uh, gagged, threw up and phoned an ambulance. We've retrieved some. Is he going to make it? Of course. It's all yours. You're having a bad day, Julian. Bad moment. Wanted it all to stop. Understandable. I don't know how well I'll do in prison. You'll get yourself a lawyer. A good one. You got no prize. Who knows? So what did you want to tell us? Tell you? Yeah, about your sister's arrangements with the police. There were no arrangements. She dated Dylan Jones. Slept with him a few times. I think she thought she could control him that way. And did she? <laughs> Eloise can control most men she decides to. But in this case, no. She said he used her. Why is that? Because he slept with her and wouldn't be controlled. What about his brother, Constable Jones? He's a nobody. She wasn't paying him? <laughs> Please. What could he have possibly have done for us? Julian. You haven't been talking to them. My brother's ill. You have no right to be talking to him. Then we'll talk to you instead. Is she allowed to look at me like that? Like what, Miss Maxwell? Like contempt. I have no feelings about you whatsoever. Miss Maxwell, your brother has made certain admissions. You talk to him in a sickbed without a lawyer present. It was voluntary on his part. I have advised him to get a, uh, a good lawyer. Now, Julian is cooperating, and we have found your prints inside the bank vault, so I do advise you to help yourself here. How? I don't know. You could start by helping some other people. Tracy Burnett. The pills we found in her bedroom. Yes, yes. Yes, yes, what? Yes, I put them there as a distraction, OK? And the allegation against Constable Jones? Another distraction. His brother was the loss. He had an edge. Life of the party. Always eager to please. Julian 
says you weren't paying Dylan Jones. Never even suggested it. Deep down, very straight. Like father, like son. The Maxwells have convinced me that you're not corrupt. The word of drug dealers. Don't try my patience. They've also convinced me that uh, your brother Dylan was not corrupt in the sense of being paid off by them. Well, that's very... Thank you. Which just leaves the question of the pills you allege you found in the wheel arch of the drug squad car. Yes. You want to tell me about that? Dylan had taken pure MDMA. When Dad and I were packing up Dylan's room, there was nothing there, so... That made the car a possibility. So the first chance you got, you took a look. In future, take someone with you for corroboration. Yeah, but the fact that they were in the car does not make them Dylan's. We have a match on a partial print from the pillbox. A partial? One that you could make an ID on? said that doesn't have to know that they were Dylan's. Well, even if he did handle them, he's a drug squad detective. He handled drugs every day. Thank you. For what? Your suspension's over. Inspector Draper tells me the Maxwells have cleared Dylan of corruption. What she couldn't tell me and what you haven't volunteered is whether he took the drug himself or someone else gave it to him. I can't believe he took it himself, Dad. And someone else had to have given it to him. You? Like he did when he was 15? That's what you want to believe. Dylan Jones. Dylan. Dylan. Thanks for the thought. I'll be going now. Constable. This young woman, Constable Rayner, is it serious? We're friends. Don't fail her.
previously on Blue Healers. I'll ask you one more time. What did he take? Speed? Ecstasy? Didn't he tell you, Constable? I'm his brother. How old are you today? 30? I suppose you've still got time to learn. What is going on there? 30 years of competition. Dad! Oh, I believe you blew the shed. I just don't believe the reason. You didn't do it because you wanted to stop. You were just protecting yourself and your daughter. No way, you understand? Harry. No way, Harry! The only way to help Tracy is by telling the truth. Did you give Todd that pill last night? I think Constable Jones believed in you, Tracy, but he's changing his mind now. Probably thinks you let him down. She's a good girl. So she mixed in a bit of metho and a bit of strychnine just for her mates. Real good girl. Be afraid, detective. You know that Tracy kid couldn't have made those eckies? Country bumpkins are old man. We'll never clue. That's what I've been trying to tell him. A few times I thought maybe he's not fair dinkum. You're talking about my brother. Oh, yeah. I'm here to ask you about the ecstasy tablets you or your brother put in Tracy Burnett's room. What's the girl been saying this time? I know what you've been up to. And I know what you've done to Tracy. And you can do whatever you like to cover your tracks. It won't work. You didn't get clearance from the boss for what we just did, did you? Not exactly. You couldn't resist, could you? She's a dealer and a manufacturing deal. Shit. What the hell is going on? Kurt, what are you doing here? What are you two doing? More to the point. You went over my head to Falcon Price. You lied to him and you lied to me. Happy birthday. Come on, to talk to you. What are you doing? Come on, chill out. It's your party. Relax, mate. Everything's fine. It's all going to be fine. friends here. Everything's fine. Dylan. Dylan, get up. Chrissy! Chrissy, ambulance! Dylan! Dylan! Does he have any allergies? No. Diabetic, epileptic? No to both. What is he eating or drunk? Finger food, cocktails, bottled water. Has he taken any drugs? My son is a detective sergeant. Mark, has he taken any drugs? Don't be stupid. Sugar. Thanks, but no. Oh, I better Your son's been stabilized. You can uh, see him now. Is he conscious? But uh, I have some results from the blood pathology department. He has amphetamines in his system. Well, it must be from another patient. There's been a mistake. No other tests were being run? <laughs> well, he may be on cold tablets. Pseudoephedrine would not produce these results. My son had never taken drugs. He's in the drug squad. He's seen it firsthand the damage they cause. Son, someone gave you something. Do you know who? No. You didn't take it yourself. I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't do that. Me for you. Back off. Oh, Blue! Outside now. Outside. Come on. Thank you. Grab some adrenaline. Put 60 jewels. Stand clear.